All right, so today I'm going to show you how to add mining to your game, if that would be something you're interested in. We've got a little copper deposit right here. Uh, click on it. Click on it. There we go. And you're going to see this update right up on the leaderboard. Bruh, plus five copper. Pretty good. And you can see the actual deposits disappear, too. I have it on a respawn. There we go. Less copper. We can get some tin over here. Bet plus two. I thought that would be pretty good. We're going to do this in two videos. First one is going to be the actual mining animation and building the tool. Second one is going to be the metal collection. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, since we're doing mining, I decided to go with the terrain. Let's go to our terrain. I'm going to turn decorations off. You're more than welcome to keep it on. I don't like them. So I need to get a tool. I want to get a mesh part for my pickaxe. Right, so I have the marketplace, meshes. We don't want any scripts on there, we just want a mesh. Some ambitious person that brought in a pickaxe. Pick axe. Look at that, we got a couple of them. Let's pull this over here. Whoa, it's big. So this came from probably like Blender or something like that. Some other third party modeling software suite. I'm gonna scale that down, I think. I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna hit the Shift and that green, the shift makes it keep its aspect ratio when you're shrinking things down. I'm going to look at the size of my pickaxe. I think on that X right here, this X axis, I'll make that like three. Let's go ahead and click that. Maybe make it slightly smaller than three. There we go. The Y is 3.3. Uh, that's kind of small. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, just a tiny bit. There we go. Maybe a little bit bigger. That's pretty good. All right, I'm happy with that. All right, let's get the uh, material. Uh, we'll make it that metal. I'm gonna rename it too, and just rename it to pickaxe. Pickaxe. And let's see what we got. We're gonna go up and get the color. The color's good. We'll just make it metal. Hit M, arrow down one, metal. And we get kind of shiny there. It's not bad. We're gonna go to the workspace, hit the plus, get a tool, right? We need to put it in a tool so we can pick it up. There's a tool. And we will change that to pickaxe. Pick axe. Drag the pickaxe into the pickaxe tool. And now I need a handle. Right, so let's go to the part, add a block, and I need to know the front, right? So I want to go to my part, hit the plus, add a decal. So it's facing, the decal is facing away from me, the front's facing out. I can remove that decal because I know which way front is. I'll click on my box, my block, my block, my, yeah, my block. Let's go ahead and rotate that so the front is now facing that way. Nice. Let's call this handle. Drag handle into the pickaxe. Now I need to change the size. So I'm going to go to the size on the handle. Make it 0 0.5 by 1 by 0 0.5. I want the handle lined up inside the pickaxe handle. So I'm going to grab my pick, pickaxe and then I'm going to get the position. Control C. Go to my handle. Let's see. Position. Control V. There we go, it's right inside. I'm And the collisions are off. I'm going to get that move, I'm going to drag this down to like the bottom, right? That's where he's going to be holding it. That's pretty good. I'm going to weld the handle, or do some sort of weld. I'm going to do a weld constraint to the actual pickaxe handle. Hit the plus on the pickaxe, W for weld constraint. Click on weld constraint. Part zero, pickaxe. Part one, handle. Now we don't need to see that. So with the handle selected, let's make that transparency one. Cool. All right. Let's add, uh, go to the plugins, add a, a build rig, get that build rig, R15 man rig. You can use R6, right? There's no difference except for you have to build the animation in R6. There's a few different, few different things with that, but 
I'm sure you can figure it out. All right, let's go and get our pickaxe, stick it inside the dummy. Nice. Now we are ready to start animating. All right, so go ahead and select your animation editor up here. Boom. Get your dummy, select that. And we'll give it a name like Dig. Cool. Let's go ahead and hit the three dots. We're going to set animation priority to action. Hit the three dots again. Save. All right, my timeline here is in seconds frames. You can change that with a little cog. Timeline unit, seconds frames. And then I have it at 30 FPS, so 30 frames per second. All right, let's get the upper arm, the right upper arm. We're going to pick up this pickaxe. Oh, do you notice that little L there? That means it's in local mode. That's the rotations are local to the model. If you do a control L, it's going to be global, right? So I got rid of a little L. Control L again. I'm going to do it in local. I'm going to go ahead and bring that up. There we go. And then we'll go back a little bit. So select the upper torso. Go back a little bit. That's pretty good. All right, what's it going to look like all the way down? Let's go to 15 frames. And then swing it forward maybe two, right? That's up, one, two. So I have this at 15 degree increments. I don't know if I mentioned that. So that's a 30 degree incline there. Get the upper arm. Drag that down a little bit. I'll get the hand after. No, I'll get the hand now. Grab the hand. Not bad. Nice. Now we got to center that. We got to get the other arm into play. So let's go back to the zero. And let's get his arm, his upper arm. Let's bring it over. Maybe slightly past his face. So that's slightly past. Yeah. And now get his hand. We want to rotate that pickaxe so that the point is facing the right way. Nice. If we go over here to the 15th frame. Let's go ahead and adjust that. Let's grab this arm, pull it in, get that hand. Is that good? Maybe, maybe pull this over a little bit. Oh, we messed it up, didn't we? Yeah, let's get the hand to do it. Get the green. Boom. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right, let's play it. See if it's straight up and down. Let's let's uh, loop it. It's kind of chopping off center. Hmm. Do I want to try and make it better? I do not. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, get that upper arm. So let's go back to the zero. I am content. With a slight with a slight offset in my swing, I'm gonna bring this upper arm into place. That's that's close. That's pretty good. Can make it a little better, right? That's the problem. You're just gonna be able to leave it. There we go. All right, let's go over to the 15th frame. And I gotta get that arm in place. This one right here. Pull it down. Whoops. And maybe get that. A little bit. Blue. Let's see what we got. Uh, not perfect, but good enough for a video. Let's go ahead and turn, uh, pause that. And we want to put some pauses in here so that it's up for a couple seconds so let's get our start one and then select that little top diamond right click copy selected go to like the sixth keyframe and then paste it also at the end we're going to paste the same set right so select the scrub put the scrubber bar at the end right click paste keyframes and that's going to hold it up there for a little bit Let's hold it while we hit, right? When it goes down, boom, hits, copy selected, and then just for three frames, paste keyframes. I think this will be a better motion.
There we go. Yeah, we can't even see our little imperfection that much. Once we put the pauses in, perfect. Well, not perfect, but good enough. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Keep looped on though. See how that's blue? Keep that on. And I'm gonna hit these three dots. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna hit the three dots again. I'm gonna publish to Roblox. Dig, that's perfect. Submit. There we go. Get this uh, right here. Hit these two boxes. Copy that ID. ID copied. Close. Let's get your pickaxe. I'll pull it outside of the workspace, into the workspace. Open your pickaxe. Hit the plus. A for animation. There we go. Select the animation under the pickaxe. Animation ID. Control V. Let's go paste that ID in there. There you go. All right, so now we're going to start scripting. We got the animation in place. All right, let's start some coding. So I'm going to select my pickaxe, hit the plus, add a local script. All right, we'll do local script, and I'm going to call this dig, D-I-G. We can go ahead and close this animation uh, editor window here. There we go. And then I'm going to get rid of this print statement. Let's get a variable for our tool tool equals script dot parent and then we need a variable for our animation and the animation is on the tool we'll do a wait for child animation and then I'm gonna make a variable for the connection the connection between the for the activated event we'll say connection equals nil we'll initialize that to nil and then we'll do another one for player another variable for player initialize that to nil one for character Initialize that for nil. Let's see if I can get this one a, a mistake. Get the track, and we'll make that nil. Bunch of variables we're going to use. All right, now we need a function for the on activated, activated event. All right, we're going to fill that in in a, in a couple minutes. We are going to need a function for the on equipped. We can fill that in now, right? We need the player, and we get the player from, we get a couple of different ways, but I'm gonna do it with game players dot local player. And then I'm gonna get the connection. I'm gonna initialize the connection uh, variable with the tool dot activated event, connect to on activated. All right, and now I need to get my character. I guess I could have done that right after the player. I should have done that right after the player. This is good like this though. Character equals player dot character or player dot character added wait. And let me move this over so we could see everything. Nice. What else do we need? Hmm, humanoid, right? Local. Hume, we don't have a variable for the humanoid in the script, so we'll just make it there. We're gonna get the char, we'll wait for child, humanoid. And then let's get our track. This is gonna be the animation track. We're gonna use the humanoids animator to load the animation. I spell that right, anim. And then when we load the animation using the animator into the humanoid, we're going to get a track. And then we'll do another variable down or another function down here, local function on unequipped. We'll just go ahead and make the character nil. I'll move this up a little bit. We'll make the char nil. And then we'll get our connection. Whoops, that's continue. We'll get our connection and disconnect it. Save a little bit of resources. We'll get our tool down here. Get the equipped event. Connect that to on equipped. Now, oh, it didn't give me those two extra parentheses like it normally does. Tool dot unequipped. Connect on unequipped. Nice. All right, the only thing we need to do is add some stuff to our activated. So activated, it's going to be easy. We're not going to do any we're not going to do anything fancy here, right? We're just going to play the animation 
and then we'll continue this in the next video. So I'm going to get the track and I'm going to play it. And then I'm going to wait for however long I want to wait to do my mining. Let's say five seconds. Then I'll get my track and I will stop it. Now, remember, I looped my track, right? So you can look up how to how to loop it if you forgot. But you can also just save it off again and publish it again as looped. And then you'll have a looped track. So it'll just keep playing. Let's try it. Oh, you know what? I can't pick it up because I got to put this in the world somewhere. I think my dummy still has it in his hand. We pulled it out of the dummy, but I think it's still in his hand. Oh, and he's way over there. That's not going to work. Let's get him closer. Or what I could do is model, spawn. I'll just spawn by the dummy. And then I'm going to get this pickaxe and I'm going to put it down in my starter pack. There we go. Now we're good. Uh, we didn't even need the, the spawn location then because the pickaxe is on us. Let's go ahead and pull it out. Oh, look at that. Let's go ahead and click on something. That's not bad. A little bit crooked. Tiny bit crooked. I'm happy with it, though. Pretty good for a video. All right. So in the next video, it's going to go for five seconds no matter what. Next video, we're going to freeze them in place, maybe. That sounds good. We'll get some resources. We'll collect the resources. We'll make it a, make it a sound, make a sound on it. That'd be cool. All right. I will see you then.